What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another No Money Spent episode. And this one, we are about to get active because, as you guys can see, we're listing up all our players. We're just trying to lazy sell them uh, over time. If they don't sell, it's not a big deal. We also picked up this Austin Eckler for around 125, and I'm trying to sell him for 150. He should sell over time once people complete those sets. And speaking of those sets, we actually have been sniping, and the Team of the Week sets are pretty profitable right now. Uh, they are very expensive, so you do need around, you know, 625,000 coins to complete them. Uh, George Kittle right now is going for the most. Obviously, I'll chain it, I'll switch it just in case. But we actually only have 28,000 coins left, and we have to get two more players. And right now, they are going for a lot more than they should be. So, with that being said, you know, we're on to sniping some 87s. You can get these around 7,000 coins, just like that, 7.5k. And uh, I'm just going to buy this, put them in the set. I'm going to build a set through this because you can get them for 28,000 rather than completing buying them off the market for around 40,000 and that's honestly its own little coin making method in its own right um we do have the 16,000 training because i forgot i was on this account when i was sniping team the weeks and i mean i guess fortunately i did snipe a devonta smith 91 for 26k but unfortunately i quick sold it thinking i was on my main account so with that being said the campus here rules are absolutely nerfed but we're gonna try them out before we do that though, we have 13,000 coins. And like I said, we're gonna need to make around 28,000, 30,000 coins. We have Marco Wilson and we need one more 90 overall. And like I said, we're probably gonna be sniping through this. So we could probably get one or two more. So we do need to make about 20,000 coins from our 16,000 training. And I think that's very, very possible. Um, you know, it would have been better if I just resold Devonta Smith for 20 or 35K and just made like a good, seven ak profit but you know we are taking to take a risk these packs are not juiced at all 89s yesterday at one point we're actually going for so many coins now they're back down around 15,000 because of the glitch that was going on i don't know if you guys saw but there was a 90 to 91 overall set that's in the store and for some reason it was um giving out the 96s and 93 overall team of the weeks i did a bunch of them on my main account on stream um but so far 289s, we already basically made profit, which uh, I definitely will not complain. This might take a little bit to sell though, because I don't wanna just insta sell them. I want them to, you know, sell for 15,000 coins. I wanna get as the maximum I can. So, I mean, Devonta Smith, not a bad thing. I quick sold them uh, because, you know, we did get lucky in our first two packs and got the 89s. So we should be able to complete George Kittle very soon. Another 89, that's very good. And, uh, you know, we ended up making profit from that. So I should be able to, you know, get the George Kittle very shortly, or depending upon uh, how the prices fluctuate, get Terrell Suggs. Uh, I will be back when I get the last 90 overall and complete the set. Because I want my stuff to take its time to sell, I made the executive decision to quick sell a few cards. Uh, our Nicole Hardman was like our wide receiver four or five, so we didn't need him anymore. And then, you know, I think I did quick sell uh, J.K. Dobbins, who's our backup running back, but we will be getting this 84 Campus Hero Plus pack again. And for some reason, we have verification. You'd be surprised that we, we, we would get it on this account. It looks like it's going to be, I think that's an 89, but we'll check in a second. I have to like zoom in because I can't see it yet. So we pulled all 89s out of four packs, which is very, very good, as you guys know. And these do sell for around 15,000 coins. So I'll take my 15,000 and run with it. So, you know, we're gonna have a lot of coins with everything sells. I just need one thing to sell and then we'll have another influx of like 700 to 800K depending upon how much short shittle's going for because the sets are pretty cheap. I think I'm gonna build him for around 620,000 coins. And as you can see right now on the market, um, he is gonna be going for around, I think he was going for around 850. Uh, him and Terrell Suggs kind of fluctuate back and forth. Uh, between who's more expensive depending on like the minute and the hour so if you guys are going to do them make sure to check that out and also the 93s i was stumping for around i got them from like anywhere between 120 to like 135 and uh they actually consistently sell for around like 150 160 sometimes so it's definitely you know pretty good so terrell slugs right now is 790 but george kittle is 880 so we need to you know hustle up and get this george kittle because that is absolutely insane. In the meantime, while we wait, I'm gonna be completing both week 17 and week 18. I'm gonna have both packs and we'll be back in a second. All right, so after completing some Team of the Week events, we do have this 90 plus Team of the Week B&D pack. I'm hoping that there's a chance we get the 96, but yeah, probably not. 
Uh, I do not think we can do anything with this guy except put him in our team. So I'm just going to quick sell him because honestly, 90 overalls really aren't going to cut it online and offline. My team is perfectly fine. So our next 90 plus, we still have never gotten anything good out of these. So once again, I'm just going to quick sell him. That gives us another uh, 84 plus pack. So you never know, maybe we can get a 96 overall or something crazy. Large present, 90 overall, Chris Lindstrom. That might be one of the best 90 overalls. And uh, you know, we're gonna just sell him for around 30,000 coins, uh, take our coins, and we can also now complete the 96 overall George Kittle and hopefully sell him for a lot. All right, so we finished George Kittle and we're gonna submit him. He's going for around 800,000 coins right now. So he goes for a little bit more than Terrell Suggs. I am okay with that. You know, 800,000 is very good considering we build it for like 600,000. So I think we're gonna make around 100,000 coins profit, which is very, very nice. Obviously it took me a while because I was only sniping um, for certain prices. So I'm getting like the 93s for around like 130. So, uh, you know, they're kind of difficult to get for that price. So it did take me a little bit of extra time, but you know, with all this stuff that we have selling, I, I think we're in a really, really good spot. And uh, we're probably gonna also open two more packs. I'm gonna quick sell both these bad boys. And uh, we might be able to open two, probably only one though. But let's see what we can get, because if we can get even another 89, like we're gonna be loaded once stuff starts to sell because it's gonna be a nice influx of coins. An 84, you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it definitely isn't great. I'm just gonna hold on to them for now. Maybe build an 88 team builder. Uh, we will see. And it's also time to open our daily old pack. So after everything sells, we should be around like 1.2 million coins, maybe. Brandon Graham, that actually might sell for a lot because he's an Eagles player. And it does, around 5,000 coins. You know, make sure to open your daily gold pack every single day because it's a free 5,000 coins. I'll definitely take it. All right, so as you guys saw, we had a two, we had this 84 from the gold uh, bundle, and then we had this 84 from the one set. The rest of these, I bought both these guys for 2,000 coins each. So let's say this set is worth 8,000 coins of 84s, and the 82s and 83 overall core leads, I bought for 1,500 each. So that's 8,000 plus another 1,500 each, which is around another 4,500. Let's just say this is a 12,500, even round up to 13. This set, you can actually sell these guys on the market for around 24,000 coins and they will sell for within the hour. So I'm building it for around 13,000 coins max and I'm selling it for around 24,000, which is around after tax, a good like 9,000 coins profit. Um, as you see, they also sell for a little bit more too, but you can basically sell them like guaranteed for around 24,000 within the hour. Uh, they do sometimes take a little bit of time to sell, but you know, as we have a low amount of coins with our George Kill and everything selling, why not just do some 10K per set profitable sets? And it's also really easy to snipe because the camp's here with 84s and also just the core elite uh, 82s or just filter through any promos and positions. It's really easy to get them. And uh, all you have to do is just list them up and wait. All right, so now it was past four o'clock. So most people have opened their team elite packs. The 93 plus overall fantasy pack has been open on most accounts. So there really is no more supply on these 93 cards. We also just got the new Austin Eckler set. And because of all of this, Cam Akers and the other 93 for week 17 is extremely rare. So because of this, we already completed the George Kittle earlier, but now we are gonna just complete the 93 set because they are very, very expensive. Um, I'm gonna be doing it's in the week 13 one. There's no Boyas out of Luicons, but the thing is Cam Akers goes into the set too. So I'm just gonna complete Cam Akers here and I'm gonna list them up on the market. I could probably get like 170 for him. Leave the set for a round. A little bit less than 120, I would say, probably around like 110. I got the 87s for around 7,000 and the 90s for around 30,000. It was really easy to snipe them. It didn't take too long. And I'm making around 40K profit after tax. So it is a very good. Um, yeah, we might do this like a few more times. All right, I told you guys I'm gonna do it again because it doesn't really take long at all. Maybe like 10 minutes max, and you could probably snipe for even higher prices and still make a decent amount of coins. Um, he's still going for over 160, so I'm just gonna sell him for around that. And he should sell in the next five minutes or so, and he should be almost over a million. Once everything sells, obviously we're way over a million, but you know, we are making a lot of coins. And once again, we're gonna be doing the K makers. I could just grind this out and do it like all day and just make like 
500k to a million but i'm probably gonna stop here this is the third time i'm doing it he sells for 165 like really easy so i'm getting back 150 after tax i'm easily doing the set for around 110 to 120 uh, so you know lots of profit there just this is a PSA, like if you guys don't have coins and stuff, just look out for stuff like this. You know, when certain market changes, there's tons of supply in the 90s. The 87s went up a little bit, but the 93 overalls now are going for around 170, 165. So, you know, it's really easy, make a lot of coins, and yeah.